Dropshipping now has been easier than it's ever been. Never better. But still, even today, almost with every part of the business streamlined for you, people are still giving up before yep. they even get started, before they even try to make their first sale or even look for a product. I can't do this. Now, there's two main reasons for this. The first one is going to be people get stuck when actually creating the store. When you create the store, a lot of the times people look at it and they think this is way too complicated for me. I can't do this. I can't create a visually engaging store. One which is converting. When somebody lands, they make a purchase right away. It's too hard. Now, it's not that hard, but there are some people that they're not that tech savvy and it's just not their field. It's not what they specialize in. Now, the other group of people are also quitting simply because they can't find the right products to sell. They'll try to sell any generic product, even a fidget spinner, and they don't get any sales. Why? Because they don't have winning products. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way, and most importantly, the cheapest way or even free way to fully create a Shopify store completely built with AI. Now, the best part about it is that everything is done for you from the entire store layout to the logo, the policy pages, which I know a lot of people struggle with, and even being fully loaded with winning products that are ready to sell. If you follow along, by the end of this video, you should have two different ways to create a fully operable Shopify store ready to sell that converts. These are the best AI Shopify store builders. Let's go. Now, the first way to do this is going to be simply by using the AutoDS store builder. So if you register with AutoDS, you can create a completely free Shopify store all through our system. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to get started with this. The first one is going to be if you're a new user, and then we're going to transition to if you're already a registered user. Now, if you already are a registered user, don't worry, because the first part, it's not going to take too long. All right, so to get started, the first thing that we need to do is we need to run over to autods.com. Now, if you're not a registered user, then this is going to be the time to do that. If you haven't started just yet, you can get started right now for the trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. So once we're over at autods.com, the first thing that we need to do is click on get started. Now, once we're in here, we just need to register. Now, it's going to be up to you how you want to register. You can either use your Gmail account or you can create your own account. In this case, I'm going to create my own account. Now, once we register our account, the next step is going to be to choose our selling platform. For this one, it's going to be Shopify because that's the only place that we can go ahead and actually get our own pre-built store. So let's click on Shopify and then click on continue. Now you need to choose a package. So once you choose a package, then you can actually get started with the store creation. Now, right now, the default package is the $29.90 a month, but you can opt out of that one and go for the $19.90 a month. But I highly suggest you go for the middle one because with this, you get a bunch of extra features, some of which being some very crucial ones and some that really make life a lot easier, like the bulk importer, the fulfilled by auto DS service and the automatic tracking. Now, there's a lot of other services on here that are going to be extremely beneficial. Now, on top of that, you're also going to have a lot of other extremely useful features that you can use to your advantage, all of which can help you streamline your entire dropshipping business. Now, before we continue with already registered users, if you want to follow along with everything that I'm doing in this video, just make sure to comment down below the hashtag AI dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video to gain access to the cheat sheet. In it, I'm going to outline step by step every single thing that you need to know on creating your store with AI, both the first way and the second way. Now, if you already have an AutoDS account, then you can skip that entire first step. All you have to do is simply sign into your account and then go to up here to your actual store name. Now, if you are coming from just registering, then it's going to guide you to go directly to that link that I just clicked on and it's going to tell you to add your store. So from here, you're going to see this screen. Just go ahead and click on add store. And now we're going to click on Shopify store build with AI. Let's go ahead and continue. And then you're going to have three different options. We're always going to go with the AI to generate. So let's click on that. Now we have to pick a niche. So let me tell you a little bit about the different types of niches that you can choose from. So first we have fashion and apparel. Fashion and apparel is awesome for people that want to start their own brand. On top of that, you can also incorporate print on demand, which is also available through AutoDS to be able to expand your product line. That way you can actually create your custom designs for your t-shirts, your shorts, your tank tops, your hoodies, whatever it is that you're selling. The other niche here is pets. Pets, I absolutely love. If you've seen our previous videos, you'll know that I always say that you should drop ship pet items simply because they're an evergreen niche and people absolutely adore their pets. Aside from that, it's easy to market this. You can easily make TikTok videos or Instagram reels, which have a lot of potential to go viral because who doesn't love a cute pup or a cute cat? Then you have the electronics and gadgets niche. This niche is evergreen as well, but it's also constantly evolving. Every single year you have brand new items that come out. And if you don't have new items that come out, you have revised items or you have items that have a sort of update that last year's model didn't have. And this goes for pretty much anything from cables to chargers to phones to TVs, literally anything, anything in technology. And also with electronics and gadgets, you have one of the broadest demographics that you can go ahead and try to target. 
So you can target anybody from parents to grandparents to people in their middle ages, teenagers, and even kids. Everyone uses some sort of electronic device in their life. Then we have the home and garden niche. Now with the home and garden niche, you have a lot of seasonal opportunities, in particular things like holidays. Throughout the different holidays, you're going to have some pretty big spikes because everyone likes to decorate for the holidays, whether that be Christmas, Halloween, Hanukkah, or any other holiday. Aside from that, you also have some pretty high ticket items in the home and garden niche, specifically with things like furniture. Sports and fitness is also another huge one that is pretty evergreen, but it has some pretty significant spikes right before summer and right before Christmas or right before New Year's actually. And the last one is just simply not sure. Not sure means you're not entirely sure of what niche you want to get into. So here's a generic store that you can go ahead and customize to your liking, along with some pretty broad generic products, all of which are still proven bestsellers. Now, with this being said, the fact that I just said that you're still going to have to customize a few things yourself. That is one thing that I do want to tell you right now before we continue. There's always going to be one or two different things that you're going to have to customize on your page. We're going to get a little bit more into that a little bit later, but these are things that are just going to be simply throughout the board. So it's going to be things like policy pages, maybe your logo and a few extra things here and there. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to choose fashion and apparel simply because for one, I've always wanted to start my own brand and two, I can increase my product range by offering print on demand products along with dropshipping products. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then it's telling us that our AI store is being built for us. Now, once that's complete, these are your account credentials. It is essential that you save these. But if you don't, it's OK. You're going to get them in an email anyway. All right. So now our store has actually been created. So the next thing we need to do is go to Shopify and choose a plan. Now we click on open Shopify store plans. Now to get started, honestly, we just need the bare basics. So let's just go ahead with the basic plan. Select the basic plan for one dollar. And that dollar is going to be good for your first month. So you're going to have 30 days to grind it out, sell as many products as you can to gain enough of a profit to purchase the actual Shopify subscription for the rest of the year, which trust me with the products that we're giving you, it's going to be easy peasy. So next, we're going to have to include our business address. Now, this could be your home address. It could be a virtual address. It could be whatever you want. So let's go ahead and input our information and then click on save business address. All right. So from here, our store is pretty much ready to go. It's completely built. Now, all we have to do to see what it looks like is click on online store and view your online store. So this is our new fashion store, Glamora. As you can see, it's fully built. It already has a logo. It has a banner. It's fully loaded with some winning products as well. And overall, the layout. It's really good. Like the layout does look really good. All of the colors match together. It all matches the theme. It all matches fashion as well. Everything works together very nicely. Now, aside from that, as you can see, it also has a contact us option and it's already giving our customers a discount. So that way we can start reeling them in. Now look down here. We have a customer care section. We have our refund policy, our shipping policy, our privacy policy and our terms of service. That's something that a lot of people don't do because they don't know how writing up all of these different policies is kind of a pain, but there are different generators that can get these done. But if you can have everything built together with your store, it just makes it so much easier and it saves so much time. Now let's take a look at the policies really fast. So we're not going to read through the entire thing because we already know what all this stuff consists of. But you remember how I told you earlier that there's going to be certain things that we need to change or we need to modify. Well, this is a few of them. So our refund policy, our shipping policy, our privacy policy, and even our terms of service. These are all worth taking a look at because there's going to be certain spots that are either going to be left blank or pre-filled with the wrong information. So let's take a look at a refund policy first. Here you can see we have a 30 day return policy. That's going to be up to you. So you can modify this however you need. Aside from that, you can see here to start a return, you can contact us at store email, insert return address, store email. These are all different pages that you're going to have to go through and going through them. It's really easy. Just go back to your Shopify admin and search for them so you can look up your refund policy and you can either click on policies and look through everything or just go straight to the policy itself. And this is where you can go ahead and make any necessary adjustments. Do the same thing for the return policy, the shipping policy, privacy and the terms of service. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you that would be worth modifying is going to be your logo. Not everyone is going to want to have the logo that the AI store comes with, primarily because not everyone's going to have the same store name. So if your store name is, I don't know, the skull and bones or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. The Glamora is not going to go with what you're going for or whatever is generated at the time that you create your store. So another one of the things that are going to be worth looking at to change is going to be your logo along with your logo, also your store name. Now, right now that we're actually on this page, let's go over a few more things that you need to make sure that you have set up before you can actually start selling. Because if you don't set these things up, you're not going to be able to make any sales because you're not going to have a way to get paid. So for one, you need to check out your shipping policies. So you actually need to look at the shipping policies that you have set, not the page that tells you all of your shipping details. 
So since we're already on the page, click on shipping and delivery. And here you're gonna have to go through everything to make sure that you're set up in the right countries that you wanna drop ship in. For this, just go to the general over here and take a look at everything on there and just make sure it's correct. Now, if you wanna learn more about everything that you see on the screen and you wanna go into details for everything to make sure you have everything correctly, then you can check out this video right here. It teaches you absolutely everything that you need to know on how to get started drop shipping on Shopify. Today we're going to be covering a few of these things, but it's just going to be a very general overview just to help get you started. If you really want to note all the intricacies of everything, then just make sure you check out that video. Also, it's going to be linked in the cheat sheet, so make sure you request that as well. Now, the other thing that you need to make sure that you have set up is your Shopify payments or your Stripe account. So over here, click on payments and then make sure you set up all of the different ways that you're going to get paid your Shopify payments, your PayPal, or whatever else you wanna add on here as well. Now, the last thing that you need to do to make sure that you can actually start getting sales is to remove your password. So every single Shopify store comes password protected, so only you have access. And to do that, just simply search a password, click on remove password, and remove the password over here and you're all set. All right, so the second way is with another platform called buildyourstore.ai. Now, this way is a little bit more technical, but don't worry because I'm breaking down the entire thing for you and making it super easy by putting it step by step. Also, the entire process is gonna be included in the cheat sheet. So if anything, just look for it there as well. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to buildyourstore.ai and we're gonna click on build my free store. Now here, we're gonna do the same thing as before. So get your free Shopify store. Then it's gonna go ahead and ask us, what niche we want to go with. Everything that I mentioned before applies here. So we're going to compare and contrast with the same niche. So let's click on fashion and apparel and click on done. Now here you get to choose a few different banners. When you choose these, make sure that they're relevant to your niche. So if you're going with fashion, make sure you go with something that actually has something to do with fashion. Like in this case, these all have somewhat fashion-y vibes to them, but I would X off this one right here and X off this one right here, simply because they look like they're niched more towards summer which actually isn't a bad idea to be able to niche down to a season, but make sure that you're actually coming towards that season. So let's say you're making your store in, let's say April, for example, then summer is actually just a few months away coming up in May. And in that case, then maybe you do want to start adding some summer vibes to your store. Same thing goes with different types of summer products. If you want to import summer products to your store and have a summer themed Shopify store, then make sure that you're gearing up for summer a few months prior to it actually starting. But in this case, we're just sticking to fashion and apparel. So let's go ahead and choose this one because it looks nice and professional. And this one right here, because I just really like the background. Click on done. And then we have to create our Shopify account. So the same thing we did earlier, we have to go back to Shopify and create our account. So here we can just go ahead and click on access Shopify. It's gonna open it up in a new link for us. So then we're taking to this page, gonna click on start free trial. After we put in our email, of course. And when it comes to this part, honestly, all of these questions are kind of useless. So you can just click on skip all, just to save time. But this one is necessary. So where is your business gonna be located? Where are you dropshipping from? In my case, the United States. Now we need to create a Shopify account. Now for this, we're not getting our credentials made for us. We actually have to make them ourselves. So let's go ahead and sign up with our email, create a Shopify account. Then we're gonna run back over to our build your store website and click on done. All right, so now what we need to do is run back over to our Shopify admin account and go up here to our link or our URL and go ahead and cut it or copy it and then bring it back to the build your store website. Go ahead and type it down there, click on save and done. Now we need to actually select our Shopify plan. Just like before, we're gonna go with the basic. So we're running back over to Shopify, click on select the plan up here, go with the basic. Once we select our store plan, just like before, we then need to go ahead and input our address details, then run back over to build your store and click on access Shopify because you actually need to click that. And then you can click on done. Now, this part is where it starts to get a little bit technical, but don't worry, it might look a little bit complicated on the screen, but it's actually extremely easy. It's just a simple few clicks. So the first thing we need to do is on the build your store, we need to scroll all the way down and click on access Shopify. This is going to take us to this screen, which is the app development screen. This is what's going to create our entire store. So from this screen, what we're going to do is click on allow custom app development, and then once again, click it, and then we're going to create an app. Now our app name is going to be the name build your store or whatever else you want to name it, but let's keep it simple. Let's do build your store. As far as app developer, it's going to stay as yourself. Don't touch that. And then click on create app. Then it's going to take us to this page where we're going to click on the first option that we see, which is configure admin API scopes. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to search up the term theme and we're going to click on write themes that should automatically also check off read themes. Now on top of theme, we're also going to do content. So write content and read content then click on save. Now, once you have that done and saved, just go back to the build your store app and click on done. Now on the next page on the build your store website, you're going to scroll all the way down. And once again, click on access Shopify app screen. This time it's going to take you to the app developments page where you're going to see the app that you just developed. We're going to click on that. 
And then we're going to make sure that we click on install app. Now it actually needs to be installed. So let's go ahead and install. Then you're going to get taken to this screen where you're going to have a secret token. Go ahead and click on reveal token once. You're going to have this really long number. Click on this little clipboard to be able to copy it. Back to the build your store app under token, paste it and click on save. Then let's go ahead and continue. Now, this is where it's going to be made unique. So up until this point, if you click on your store and you look at it, it's going to be a basic generic store with nothing in it. It's going to be a blank template. Now, after we click on customize my store, then that's when the magic is going to happen. Now from here, it is going to ask us if we want to go ahead and add auto DS to our store. Then all we have to do in this case is click on register to auto DS and then go through the registration process. But instead of actually creating a store this time, what we're going to do is simply just connect our store, but that's all going to be done for you. Once our account is created, just click on done. Last but not least, go ahead and click on access Shopify to publish store. And the last thing that we need to do is remove our password so everyone can come on here and actually start making purchases. But just like the previous one that I mentioned, we also need to look over our shipping templates. We need to look over our payment policies, our shipping policies, our terms of service. We need to create our Stripe account, our payment account, Shopify account, all of that fun stuff. Now let's take a look at the final result, shall we? And this is, this is our store. So this is fashion. Can't really see the logo because it's a little bit small. But this is pretty interesting because now what it's giving us is a free shipping, but with a timer. So that's going to create that sense of urgency in the customer to make the purchase now. So that way they can take advantage of free shipping. Now, remember this banner? This is the one that we chose. And then remember this one? This was the second one that we chose. Everything goes together so well. All of the themes, the images, everything is working really well. Now, the only difference is that we don't have our winning products here. But in this case, what we do is we simply just go over to AutoDS like we had done earlier since we were just registered with them and start importing products using the handpick product section or create some different print on demand items. Now let's keep scrolling down a little bit. This is pretty cool. It actually gives you some reviews for the store itself. So these are some sample reviews. You can pretty much edit anything you need here as well. And our footer is a little bit different. So you can see that here you have your customer care section, but you even have a social media section. So that's pretty interesting. And these were the best AI store builders that you can possibly go with. There's a lot of other AI store builders that you can go with and you can try out. But honestly, with the amount of features that you're getting with both of these, there's, there's just no comparison to anything else. All of the other ones are missing certain features like let's say auto ordering importing your products automatically some of them don't even come with products to offer to begin with a lot of them don't even make you a niche store some just make you a generic store so let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below for the best ai shopify store builders which one was your favorite the auto ds way of doing it or the build your store way of doing it which one of these two was your favorite let me know down in the comments below remember if you want access to the cheat sheet all you have to do is go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag ai dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video here's thank you to everyone for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end if you did that totally means a lot to me please make sure you smash that like button because if you got this far that means you enjoyed the video so make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos huge thank you once again to everyone for watching my name is mario with AutoDS. i'll catch you guys next time